Good afternoon, everybody. So, everybody had your lunch? Yes. So, are you guys sleepy? No. You're sure? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, after Rajdeep, Sir, and Deepa Narasimhan, who you all saw today morning, I will be here next uh, host for the afternoon. I hope to come up to their standards and do a good job. <laughs> Your first speaker for the day is myself, Sumanth Kevi. I have been I have been given two jobs, so I will be speaking and later hosting your afternoon. All the best. Hi. Everybody comes to the world crying, but I was different. I came to the world with a big smile on my face. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gen gentlemen. I am Suman KB, born with cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy affects your body movements and your speech. So all my friends, Call me, tell me that I talk like a kid and walk like a old man. <laughs> so, I am not here to tell you about the challenges. I am here today to tell you about the, about the dreams and how I pursued it. That is the message I want to leave. So I started my journey, academic journey, in a special school called Spastic Society of Karnataka and was integrated to a normal school. Under the guidance of Mrs. Rukmini Krishna, mommy, auntie. And then I went on to do my BCom from Jain College in the year 2006. Well, during the BCom days, I read about, it was a very defining moment for me when I read about Sri Ram, who is the first visually impaired person to get into IIM, that too, back then, there was no quota system. So after reading that article, I was always thinking that I want to do something more in my life. So I started looking at what can I do, and I figured out I want to do an MBA. Going back, I finished my BCom in 2006. And then I wrote my MBA CAT exam for the first time in 2005, where I miserably failed at it. <laughs> and then after my BCom, I was hunting for a job. And I meet this wonderful lady who is right now my mentor, Mrs. Shanti Raghavan. <laughs> Under whose guidance 
I got a job at Thomson Reuters. Thomson Reuters was a fantastic job. I was working night shift, but I was learning a lot and doing a lot of number crunching. I was in Bangalore with a very supportive parent. Uh, everything was going good, but I still wanted to do something more. So I continued to pursue CAT and do an MBA at IIM Indore. So in 2007, I wrote my CAT again. After three attempts, I got into Tata Institute of Social Sciences for the <laughs> master's program. One of my brain, brain and heart are different. So one of my brain was telling, dude, it's a very good opportunity. Please go grab it. But my heart still lies at IIM. I still wanted that to build the cat. <laughs> so I wrote cat all over again in 2010 and got a call from IIM in Goa. I did my MBA. I passed out of my MBA in 2013. And believe me, those two years were the best two years of my life till then. <laughs> right now, I am I am working with Flipkart, Allah Operations. Assistant manager, I take care of that. <laughs> Delhi. <laughs> Daily deliveries, and it's a very challenging job. I, I handle few crores every month for the company. <laughs> 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 But I forgot to tell you about the 60 or the 50 plus interviews I had to go through even after getting an MBA from one of the, one of the best colleges in the country. Yeah, that's a different story altogether. Maybe I will narrate it to all of you in the next coming IAS. <laughs> I, I hope I cannot see Firoz. Firoz and team, thank you for the opportunity to call me as a speaker and a host. So, and then, Life, life has been great. It is very great after Flipkart happening, and I have achieved my dream. What I dreamt of. I want to switch from this speaker podium to the host podium with a favorite coat of mine. It is hung on my room wall, which written by Abraham Lincoln. We 
conquer the world, not in any brilliant fashion. We conquer the world just by continuing our daily jobs. Thank you. I still have a minute to go. <laughs> so, should I wait for 15 seconds? <laughs> okay. So, our next speaker, or the first speaker for the day, is Mr. Hans Dalal. Hans has had a passion for outdoors ever since he was introduced to the Himalayas at the age of eight. Since then, he has been on numerous expeditions to various peaks and places in the mountains, but his true love always lied in the jungles. He discovered this when he saw his first tiger in the wild in 2007. Until then, he was a sound engineer by profession and working with renowned people in the industry like Vishal Shekhar as well as Discovery Channel producing sounds of nature. Let's welcome on stage Mr. Hans Talaj. <laughs> 